One of the things that you can do with MIDI clips in Loopy Pro 2 is use them to record and playback automations. By automations, I mean really anything that you can do with an action or with a widget. You could use automations in MIDI loops to adjust effect parameters. You could change banks on a piece of external gear or switch instrument presets. Or you could record and playback mixer changes like crossfading between channels or changing your panning over time. You could, I don't know, run a light show with an external controller. Really anything that you can do with widgets or with MIDI controls, you can do via automations. There is an automation sample project that ships with Loopy Pro 2. You'll find it in help under sample projects and tutorials, but I'll show you two ways to use it now. I have an audio clip here that's just a drum sample. And I'm gonna add an XY pad to control a low pass filter on it. First, I'm gonna add the low pass filter to its channel. And now I'm gonna open up the canvas editor and add an XY pad. Now I'm gonna tap it and select the low pass filter. Now I can control it. But I wanna control the movements of that XY pad so that I can play them back later, maybe in several different loops so that I can change how they vary over time. To do that, I'm gonna add a couple of MIDI loops in their own color. I'm gonna open up the canvas editor again and add a couple of MIDI clips. I'm just gonna put them over here and resize them down. That'll do. Now what we wanna do is we want to have the MIDI clips record whatever happens on the XY pad and then control the XY pad again when they're playing back. To do that, we need to pick some MIDI CC numbers that we're gonna use for each of the axes on the XY pad. I'm just gonna use CC0 and CC1. So I'm gonna open up the controls for the XY pad and I'm gonna hit customize. That lets me change the actions that are performed when I interact with the XY pad. I'm gonna add a MIDI send action to the X value change. And I'm gonna target that new MIDI color that I've just created, which is orange. It's already set to send CC0 on channel one. So we're all done there. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the same thing for the Y coordinate change. I'm gonna long press on the send in the X value change and I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. Then I'm gonna long press on Y value change and paste it. Now I'm gonna edit that and change the CC value from zero to one. I need to use a different CC because it's a different parameter that we're adjusting. Now, if I pop out of the canvas editor and start recording, you'll see that the MIDI clip has quite successfully recorded those parameter changes. It's not currently doing anything though. If I play it back, it's not linked to anything. We need to use MIDI Learn to establish a link back from the orange MIDI color back to the XY pad so that it can control it while it's playing back. So while that MIDI clip is playing, I'm just going to open up MIDI Learn and get it to learn the two CC numbers. There's MIDI Learn. There we go. Now it's got both CC0 and CC1 from orange. I'm just gonna tap it and make sure we lock it in so that it's the correct CC number. It's locked that in as CC0 and the action is X value change. Remember we set CC0 for X and CC1 for Y. So that's worked perfectly. Now I'm gonna tap new at the top and I'm gonna bind the Y coordinate change to CC1. Select Y change and it's locked in CC1 already. If it didn't, I could tap that and I could just change it manually, but I don't need to. And you can see that already it's being controlled by the MIDI clip. And now we're done. So when I'm recording, any movements that I make on the XY pad will be recorded into that MIDI clip and then played back. Now I'm gonna show you how to control other kinds of actions with automations. Things that you might control with a button, for example. To keep it simple, I'm gonna add a button to the canvas, which just turns on and off this drum loop. So I'm gonna open up the canvas editor, add a button. I'm gonna tap it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use press and release so that while I'm holding the button, it's playing and when I let go, it stops. 
I'm going to select the play stop action and I'm going to target our blue loop. I'm also going to make sure that quantization is turned off because I want it to happen immediately. So now I should be able to Right, play it a little bit like an instrument, I suppose. Now I want to be able to record those movements in a different MIDI clip so that I can play them back. I need to create a new MIDI color for this because the orange MIDI color is now hooked up to that XY pad. So I'm going to go into the colors editor and I'm gonna change the color of that bottom MIDI clip there to a new one. Now, just like we did with the XY pad, we need to send MIDI messages to the magenta color so that it can record them. I'm going to go back to the grid mode, tap the clip, and I'm going to tap beside press release and add a new send MIDI message. I'm going to target magenta. And you know what? I'm going to use note messages for this. I could use a CC as well, but I don't know. Notes seem more appropriate in this context. So when I hold the button, it's going to play the clip and it's going to send a note on to Magenta. When I let go, it's going to stop the clip and send a note off. Let's try it. Okay, so it's recording it. Again, it's not playing back yet. So we need to use MIDI Learn to learn straight back to that widget. First, I'm going to turn off the other playing MIDI clip because that will interfere with my MIDI Learn process. I'm going to hit play, open up MIDI Learn, and tap the button and it's already found the binding there. And you can see that's already working. So I can turn both clips on and that's automated the whole lot. Now you don't have to just control an XY pad and a play and stop action with MIDI automation. You can do literally anything that you can do with a button or a gesture or a MIDI controller. So really here the options are quite staggering and I'm looking forward to seeing what all of you guys do with it.